welcome back to my book binding studio. I have a bunch of orders to work on this week. Yesterday I uh, packed paper orders all day and then shipped them out this morning and managed to stop at the park with Lucy as well. So that was a really nice break. I mentioned a couple videos ago that I will be moving to LA in mid-December and we are going to take a road trip there. I've been feeling quite stressed out. I'm feeling a lot of heaviness and mixed feelings. Yeah, it's just hard to relax because I'm anxious about our move and um, really trying my best to do well this holiday with my business. There's just a lot that I know I'm going to need to process after leaving and I'm in the thick of it right now so the heaviness is just making it harder to do the things that I want to do and be efficient and start to strategize and plan for this move. I know I can do it, it's just um, an anxiety inducing time and I used to work really well under stress and pressure, um, but my threshold has lessened over the years and I just feel way more um, easily overwhelmed and easily overstimulated. So it's, um, yeah, it feels hard right now. Bookbinding and packing paper orders have been feeling really good and it's a really good way for me to feel present in the days. Um, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing as well, whatever pockets of free time that I have. What I really need right now is good energy management, taking it real easy and um, be efficient and um, be focused when I have that energy to do so. The light at the end of the tunnel is going on this road trip down the coast and being and settling in our new home in LA. <gasps> yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Yes! Oh my god! Yay!
this is going to be a pocket organizer. I've started gluing on the pockets. Oh. I've started gluing on the pockets and will continue doing that while I chat and catch you all up. I pulled up a chair because I'm already low energy and the day has just started. Um, I'm really looking forward to having a table where I can um, adjust the height so I can sit when I want. Whenever I feel anxious or depressed or just low, I find that I really crave um, making sense of things and finding clarity. Um, and I thought, you know, I it helps to say things out loud instead of letting things spiral in my mind. Something that my brain does that I feel is evil is that it convinces me that I'm alone. And when I feel lonely, I um, feel the urge to isolate even further. Lately, I'm in this middle space where because I'm leaving, I'm saying goodbye to this place and my community here. I'm not like going through memory lane or anything like that. I'm just closing up loose ends and um, letting go of what needs to stay here so I can really feel like I can start fresh when we're in LA. So I've just been realizing that I actually do have a support system when I thought I didn't, when I was so convinced that I was alone. I'm just not very good at using it. And it's taken me a good two years to learn how to show up fully in my relationships. I've been seeing more and more content from women of color who talk about like, who talk about how like resilience is such a, is a concept that we like don't want to identify with anymore. And I really resonate with that. You know, I just, it's just exhausting to be resilient and strong um, because I feel like I've had to do that my whole life because I'm almost 30. I've been thinking more about um, transitioning into a new decade and reflecting on my 20s and how much of a roller coaster it has been. I'm ready to just ride something steadier and I'm really looking forward to my 30s because I feel like I know myself so much better. Um, I can navigate my emotions much better, especially letting myself feel. And that has just made a world of difference in my life. Um, letting myself cry, letting myself be angry, really like neutralizing those feelings as well in my head, even though instinctually I still associate anger and sadness um, negatively, but yeah, like those two feelings in particular, sadness and anger, have been so instrumental for my development and my... Um, feelings of 
self-worth and learning how to take care of myself in the last two years. I think the biggest thing that I'm grieving is um, the way that I've abandoned myself and sacrificed myself in my 20s. I just thought that if I worked hard enough at something, um, I would see results no matter the cost of my health or my happiness. Um, and so I did that with my family, I did that with my work, I did that in my relationship. And I'm done with that. I'm in this stage where I'm, even though I've been like processing this for a long time, I'm still wishing that I knew better but I didn't know better. I, I just didn't know. So, forgiving myself is hard. So something I'm excited about in my 30s is to just be a lot more selfish. Something that my counselor said um, that really helps me do that is when I create space for myself, I can create more space in my life for others. However this is going to be received is fine. It's okay if you care, if you don't care, that's okay. Um, I just appreciate you listening and watching my videos. I didn't expect these videos to be such an outlet for me. Um, and I'm quite comfortable or, and I'm much more comfortable in a group setting, um, where we're all sharing. So if you related to any of this, I would love to hear from you so that I don't feel like I'm just bleh, you know? I'm done this, um, I'm done this pocket organizer. Not very many people have ordered it, so I'm happy to be making it. Let's see if I can show it to you. So it has 12 pockets and um, I use mine to store receipts by month, um, but it's also great for stationary storage, for stickers and papers and ephemera.
you see? No. What would be great for my anxiety that I almost never think of doing is to just drop everything I'm doing and go lie down and try to slow my body down. When you're in that like really fast paced pattern of thinking and doing stuff, it's just hard to interrupt that. Um, so that's something I'm working on. Um, sometimes when I can't really make sense of the heaviness, I look towards astrology and it's something that I've been really enjoying this year is learning um, more and more about astrology. I have been I've been really enjoying the memes, of course, um, and I think those prompted me to kind of dig further and find astrologers that I resonate with. So lately I've been really enjoying Ghost of a Podcast by Jessica Lignato, and um, I also really like reading Alice Sparkly Cat. Um, and then sometimes I'll play the Astrology Podcast by Chris Brennan in the background. Um, a, lot of this, a lot of the information still goes over my head, but I'm slowly learning and it's just fun to go um, more in depth with my birth chart too. In terms of moving my business, I'm only going to take some essential equipment and a little bit of paper. Um, there's a lot of furniture and equipment I'm going to leave here. My family actually owns this place so I don't have to take everything and I'm going to deal with it next year. So that makes things much easier for me. I just need to take what I need. Even though things feel quite stressful right now, I am really happy about this opportunity to be able to relocate. Like things just couldn't have lined up better for us. We signed a lease for an apartment. Um, we have family there. This, we don't have to totally clear out this place. We have savings. And I have to remind myself of that often that we're gonna be okay and all these um, a lot of my anxiety is just in my head. Quick reminder that I have a paper sale going on in my Etsy shop and my main shop. And both of these shops will close 
on December 4th. So the last day to shop is December 3rd. That's all I have for this week. Bye. I appreciate you.